Deanne and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am in the city of La Paz in Bolivia. I just arrived here very, very late last night at like 4 a.m. and I am getting, <laughs> I'm getting out of breath just talking to you now. If you don't know, La Paz is the highest capital city in the world. Well, apparently it's not the official capital, but it is where all the government do all of their things. I think Bolivia has two capitals. Anyway, I'm in La Paz and it's the highest capital city. I'm gonna call it that in the world. It's like, when I got out of the airport last night, it was 4,000 meters, which is quite outrageous, really. I'm laughing at myself because I'm literally getting out of breath just chatting to you. But anyway, I've flown here because this is the very start point of a brand new backpacking trip and a brand new backpacking series. So my plan is to be in Bolivia, not for too long, because it wasn't part of the initial plan, but maybe like seven to 10 days in Bolivia, then I'm going to be traveling northward up into Peru. I'm going to be doing Machu Picchu along the way, keep traveling northward and then ending up in Ecuador and then flying home back to London from Quito in a few months time. So it's all really, really good and exciting stuff ahead. And I'm right at the start of my journey. So I am staying at Wild Rover Hostel. I literally just chose this because it had good reviews online. It's also a party hostel and notoriously party hostels are the easiest and best for meeting people and making friends and right now I have no friends. I am here completely by myself. I know no one in this country, let alone in this city or in this hostel. Controversially, I have booked myself a little private room, which looks like this. Got a nice little double bed. I've already spread out my stuff onto the sofa and then I have an ensuite room as well. To be honest, I don't plan on staying in private rooms the whole time on this trip. Like it's literally just kind of for my first few days, just so I can settle in, get the sleep that I need to and just make sure all of my shit is sorted and then I'll probably be moving into dorm rooms but I feel like being in a private room of a party hostel should be quite good actually in terms of having my own space but also being able to meet people so that's exactly what I've done so the plan of action for today it's like 11 a.m right now and to be completely honest I have quite a few logistical errands that I need to run I would like to get a sim card if possible I already got cash out last night I need to buy shampoo and conditioner conditioner and shower gel because I literally don't have any of those things. I was waiting until I got off the flight because I was carry on only. Anyway, need to do those things. So I think I'm going to head out of the hostel now, grab myself a coffee and some lunch, head and do those logistical errands. And then I saw that the hostel is actually running a walking tour and cocktail making class today at three o'clock. So that's in like four hours time, which I think could be perfect and a really nice way to meet some backpackers in this hostel. So without further ado, let's go. This place, HB Bronze, is really, really close to the hostel. So I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, well, that was way fancier than I was expecting. I spent 84 Boliviano. Is that the name of the currency? I think it is, which is about a tenner, which is a lot more than I was expecting to pay on lunch. However, it was delicious. I had like a focaccia bread sandwich with pesto and avocado, cheese and tomato. It was just delicious. And also a flat white, which is also very, very good. But um, yeah, not within the backpacker budget, but that's fine. It, <laughs> we're easing ourselves into backpacker life. Do I know what's going on? No, I do not. But I've managed to get some shampoo and conditioner, but not shower gel. They had no shower gel in the supermarket. So still on the hunt for that. My next stop I think is gonna to be to try and get a SIM card. So I'm just gonna join the parade, I guess. Because <laughs> I think that's the direction I'm going in. So I just went in here, Entel intel place because from a quick google search i heard that that is the best sim card provider to go with for like the best coverage over bolivia however i just went in there and he said like the bank's not functioning right now which means they can't process anything so that i should come back in one or two hours i guess i'll do that but that's the time of the walking tour so maybe i'll do it after the walking tour or tomorrow it's not really a big issue i'm not in a super rush to get a sim card i just think it would be nice for my time in bolivia Um, I 
feel like I'm getting a little bit better at those stairs up to my room. Still not great, but a little bit better than I was last night. Maybe I'm acclimatizing. Yeah, no luck on the shower gel, unfortunately. So I just bought a big toothpaste from the supermarket, some tissues, because I've had a very runny nose since arriving in Bolivia. And then, honestly, I tried to find the smallest shampoo and conditioner that I could, because I just don't want to carry around big bottles. This was the smallest I could find. They were all absolutely humongous. So I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to carry these in my backpack yet, but that is a dilemma for another day. Not for today, not dealing with that. But what I do need to deal with sooner rather than later is this shower gel situation because there's none in my ensuite. And also like, no doubt there's not gonna be much going forward. So I really, really need to locate where I can find some. I did see the, uh, you know, like the bars of soap for your body, but I don't have anything, any place to store that. And also I really don't like them. I've tried it before, like I really have. And yes, they're practical on like a space saving level, but on a waiting for it to dry level on a actual, like how good does it clean your skin? I'm not a big fan personally. So I would like to locate some shower gel. What I would also like to do on my morning of errands is do some laundry and the receptionist has given me a little map, limpieza y lavanderia. I'm hoping they're just gonna do it for me. I'm hoping that I can just give them my laundry and then they can clean it and then give it back to me all nice and dry tomorrow or the day after. So that's where I'm gonna go now. Success, I've just dropped off my laundry. They do it by the kilo. I dropped my white jump jacket as well because I got some tomato on it yesterday. But yeah, they did it by the kilo. So mine was two kilos and it's gonna cost me 24 Bolivianos, which I feel like is a really good price. And she said I can pick it up tomorrow morning, which is fab. <sighs> Not gonna lie, got a bit of a headache now. Walking around loads and to be honest, I don't think I've drunk enough water. So I've got myself a big two liters. And actually in hindsight, I kind of wish I went for one of those six liters just to have in my room and then I can fill up my water bottle over the next few days. But alas, I went for the two liters, it's fine. And a Powerade. Now we've got about 45 minutes until my walking tour. So I think I'm literally just gonna lay down, drink water, hope this headache passes, get ready to do more walking around the high altitudes of La Paz. So over there you can see our three flags, more important flags. Uh, the middle is the Bolivian flag, you know. But do you know what's the official name of Bolivia? It's a big state, Yeah, something it like that. It was a form in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> in the airport, yeah. yeah well, thing. yes, it's plurinational state of Bolivia yeah. now, yes. Hola! I've had the sandwich. Mm, no, no tengo hambre. Hola! Hola, amiga, do you please? ¿Qué bebidas tienes? Tengo de kiwi, de maracuyá, de carambola. Ok. Uh, ¿Jugo de maracuyá? Tengo maracuyá. ¿Sí? Con agua. ¿Con así? ¿Un poco de agua? ¿Azúcar? Y, uh, sí, azúcar. Yeah. Yeah, very fun. <laughs> Gracias. I seem to remember liking maracuya the last time I was in, like, Colombia. Okay, I've got my maracuya juice. This costs seven Bolivianos. Oh, that's really good. I really like that. And what I can do, after I've had a little bit, I can ask for a yapa, which basically means, like, a refill or an upgrade or just, like, a little bit more. <laughs> I've never heard that word before. <laughs> cigarette on his mouth, okay? That's why they all have an open mouth. Okay? <laughs> yes, 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 they all do. And he just takes this brand. Gracias. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's so cute. So the walking tour is now over and we've now been brought to the bar in the Wild Rover Hostel. I don't know if the bar has a name, it probably does. Fada? Maybe it's called Fada. And we're having a cocktail making class. Don't know what cocktail we're making yet, but hopefully it'll be a nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheap, 
After the short cocktail making class, I stuck around in the Wild Rover bar as they were running a pub quiz that night. I also grabbed dinner there because if I'm completely honest, I didn't feel 100% comfortable to walk around La Paz in the dark by myself. So it was very convenient to be able to eat at the bar. The altitude really does make you a lightweight in La Paz though. I did not need many bevies to feel very tipsy. But anyway, that was my first day in La Paz and the first official day of this backpacking trip. I'd say it was an absolute success and I'm excited to see more of what Bolivia has to offer. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.